Dear Chef Jason, Sundays are the only days I have to relax. I love sleeping in late and having a nice brunch. What's a quick and easy item I can make to have a nice Sunday? Hmm. I think definitely a salmon frittata would be a really nice brunch item for her. It's quick, it's easy, it's attractive, and it's delicious. We need some nice potatoes, some bell peppers, salmon of course, some mushrooms, some corn, and some great aromatics. I think definitely we could pull this one through. You know what? Let me go show her. Time to bubble. Welcome to Be Mobile. Bubble with us right here on the Be Mobile 4G network. It's your boy, Chef Jason, and I'm here to bubble. What else do I do? Hope you checked out the last episode because here we are again, right back in your face. So a lot of girls are actually sending me emails asking me about brunch items, what to make, what it is all about. I'm going to show you all a simple item today. It's a salmon frittata with a cucumber dill yogurt sauce. So we're gonna actually use Atlantic salmon today to get with all these other ingredients. Nice fresh ingredients put together in this nice skillet. It's very simple, very easy to do, takes no time. So join me, let's bubble. First and foremost, I'm gonna get my fire going. I have a nice piece of Atlantic salmon right here. And I'm gonna just drizzle it with a little bit of oil. To that, just gonna just massage it gently. And I'm gonna use the Maggi fish season up. And I'm going to use this almost to mimic a dry rub today. This is a very versatile product because no other powdered seasonings could actually do the work what this is doing here right now. I'm going to just apply a little bit on top of it just like that. Very simple, nothing too intimidating. Crust it on like that. As I say, it's like a little dry rub. Now you can actually put a little bit of garlic. You could put onions, chives on top of this. This works very well as it is. I pre preferably like it just as it is. I'm going to turn it over on this side, so it's both sides. I would say in total, maybe like about a teaspoon that I've used here on top of it. And as you can see, it's shiny, sexy, succulent and moist and ready to go. So let me get this going. Add my pot here on. I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil to it. And the idea is that we want to sear the salmon on both sides. Now salmon actually doesn't take that long to cook. So let's try this. Skin side down, just like that. Now, Tom, come check this out. You seeing this? As you look to the sides, you can actually tell the degree in which the fish is actually cooking. As it turns from a bright pink to almost this slight opaque white color. Now, what I'm getting here is actually, I'm getting the smells of the Omega oil inside here. Actually getting some of that Maggi flavor coming through from that garlic and onion. I could even get a little bit fragrance of Shadow Benny inside there. Now I'm gonna flip it now. Just like that. Now you see how crispy the skin is? This is excellent when it comes to presentation, especially in the restaurants. Today, we're not going to be worried about this too much because we're going to just be flaking the fish. Now it's time to put together the ingredients for our salmon frittata. A little bit of vegetable oil. And here we go. This is where the fun starts to kick up. A little bit of purple onion. Nice sweet flavors coming through. You could use white onions also, I don't see why not, but I like the purple onions because it adds that nice sweet flavor as well as color variants. Some garlic. What about some chives? Woo! -hoo! Yes, I love it. So let's try some pimentos. And you'll realize that a lot of the ingredients that I'm using here right now are very colorful. Purple onions, garlic, pimentos, chives. Not only are they flavorful, but me personally, I think they're rather sexy, if I must say myself. We agree, Tom, yeah? I think so. Now, mushrooms, very nice. I'm using actually button mushrooms right now. You could use cipollini mushrooms inside there. It's all up to you. That's a little bit, not too much. Now, mushrooms have a tendency to actually break down as they cook. So what can we add to the party? I got some corn, let's add some of that and check how this dish is gonna go. It's gonna go from red, green, brown to yellow. Now I have some parboiled potatoes. You could use sweet potatoes, probably cassava. Let's try to use local ingredients inside here. Potatoes are fine with me. Again, they are parboiled, so they're not raw. Just a little bit. Some tomatoes. I actually have some brunoise tomatoes inside here. Brunoise tomatoes are actually the French term for fine diced tomatoes. That's Brunois, B-R-U-N-O-I-S-E. Remember that. 
So here we go, we're gonna be adding some love to our dish. We're gonna be using this Maggie all-purpose seasoning, and this is gonna bring the, all those flavors, bring them together and make this whole dish well-rounded. Now a little bit goes a long way. And what I love about this product is that you get all the flavors of our seasonings inside here. I get a little bit of garlic, I get onion, I get thyme going down inside this. It's really, really aromatic. You could actually see that the potato is developing a little hash right now. And that's a nice little crust. All those things add texture. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Add a little bit of bell peppers. I have green bell peppers, red bell peppers. I have a little bit of parsley here. Bring some freshness to the dish. Put this to the side. I'm gonna add a little bit of chili powder, a little bit of black pepper, and a little bit of paprika. Now what I'm gonna do now is a second step of this process. I'm gonna take out the skillet from the heat because I don't want it to burn. And I'm gonna actually make the egg custard. That's the egg component of the frittata dish. So I have, let's see, I'm gonna be using six eggs today. All right, and to that, I'm gonna add two cups of evaporated cream. And time to whisk. And we are actually in Trinidad and Tobago. What would be a nice frittata without our cheddar cheese? Okay, so my custard is actually done. I'm gonna actually rest it here. And we're gonna go back to our fish, our salmon. Check this out, ladies and gents. Yum. Doesn't that look good? And that skin is so crispy. Maybe I'll save it back later and I'll, I'll destroy it. I'll take that home for me. Push that to the side. And what I want to do is just use my two forks and start to break it up into smaller pieces. Now, if you don't want salmon, let's just say you have chicken at home. Some pieces of rotisserie chicken remaining, a piece of baked chicken. Hey, shrimp is excellent inside of this also for all you seafood lovers. Hey, lobster, oh my gosh. That's gonna be excellent inside here. Take that, and I'm gonna add it to my frittata ingredients, just like that. Thomas, you getting this? Check this out, give me a close up here. Seeing this? So we have our salmon actually coming through, our corn, our purple onions, our potatoes, our chives, our garlic, our bell peppers. Time to roll. I'm gonna put back on the heat, on a medium heat. And I'm gonna actually take my custard and pour it on top. Check that out. With that now, please just sort it out like that. Ensure that you get a even delivery or dispersion of the custard throughout the skillet because this, as I mentioned, is what is going to actually hold the frittata together. I could already hear it starting to sizzle and that's important. You want to cook it on the stove for at least three to four minutes just so the protein in the air could actually congeal and come together and form that nice structure that we spoke about earlier on. A little bit of cheese on top. This is what the nice crust I told you all earlier on about. Remember, we're gonna finish this in the oven. And I actually have my oven set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna continue cooking this for maybe 10 minutes after I'm finished here with the stove. Mmm, check this out. My salmon frittata is done. Excellent cross formation. That cheese is nice, melted on you on top. It's just attractive and sexy right now. I could see bits and pieces of the salmon, the celery. I can see the purple onion, the bell peppers, the corn, the mushroom, all inside there. Time to plate this bad boy up. Let's do this a little different, however. I'm gonna do it family style. I'm gonna put it on my cutting board here. My cucumber dill 
yogurt sauce. I'm gonna put a nice dollop in the center, like that. Mm. And dill goes excellent with salmon. That's why I opt to use that. And I have some fire roasted tomatoes here. Some nice vine ripe tomatoes. I'm gonna put them down like that. And this gives it almost like a nice comforting feeling. Check this out, all the nice peppers, those nice red luscious tomatoes going on top there. And then I have these beautiful purple onions. To finish it off now, I'm gonna create a nice heaping of it. So I create my base. Check that out, nice and colorful. Just to the side, and then some fresh parsley. Just like that. Doesn't that look good? I mean, come on. Is this brunch or is this not brunch? I'm ready to dig in. And don't forget to log on to bepartofit.com slash bubble with us and check us out every Thursday from 3 p.m. for new episodes. Also, tweet to hashtag bubble with us to post those beautiful pics and even check out our recipes. See you next time. Do you remember earlier on when we made the salmon printata? I gave you a French term for fine dice. What is it? Post your answer to bepartofit.com slash bubble with us. Be mobile.